The table below represents an exponential function. Construct that function and then identify the corresponding growth or decay rate in percentage form. Well, first of all, let's recall the form of an exponential function. The form of an exponential function is a of x is equal to c times a to the x, where c is the initial value and a is either the growth or the decay factor. The initial value occurs when x is zero. In this case, we can see that when x is equal to zero, the y value is 500. So 500 is the initial value. Next, we see that as x goes up by one, the y values are decreasing. That indicates that this is exponential decay. To figure out the decay factor, we need to figure out what we need to multiply 500 by to get 425. And then what do we need to multiply 425 by in order to get 361.25 and so on. So when we take 500 times the decay factor, it has to equal 425. So to figure out A, we simply take 425 and divide by 500. We can use our calculator to evaluate the decay factor. Take 425 and divide by 500. and it comes out to be 0.85. Now let's double check and make sure that this actually works. We should be able to take 425 and multiply by 0.85 to get 361.25 and then multiply that by 0.85 to get 307.06. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen We'll start off with 500 as the initial value. We want to multiply that by the decay factor of 0.85, and that gives us 425. Now, if we just press enter again, the calculator will multiply our answer, 425, by 0.85, and that gives us 361.25. And if we press enter one more time, it will take that answer and multiply by 0.85, and we get 307.0625, which rounds off to 307.06. So our decay factor is indeed 0.85. Now if we write that in percentage form, that's 85%. So what that's telling us is that Every time that x goes up by 1, 85% of the original amount remains. So 85% of 500 is 425. 85% of 425 is 361.25. And 85% of 361.25 is 306.06 approximately. Well, if 85% remains, what was the part that decayed? Well, we need to compare that with 100%. 100% minus 85% is 15%. So if 85% remains, then that means that 15% decayed. So the corresponding decay rate in percentage form is 15%. What is our exponential function? Well, it's just going to be a of x is equal to our initial value, 500, times our decay factor, 0 0.85, raised to the x. To double check and make sure that the function is correct, you can make a table of values on your calculator. Go to y equals, enter the function, 500 times 0 0.85 to the x.
go to table set to set up a table second window make sure that table start is at zero to correspond with the first x value in our table and make sure that the table increment is one since the x values are going up by one leave the independent and dependent variables on auto and then go to the table second graph and you can compare the outputs 500 425 361.25 307.06 they're all the same so we know that we came up with the correct function